Today we have an early look at Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 4 with us being less than a week away from its release on September 18th, 2022 and despite official teasers from Fortnite releasing across social media in strange ways also confirming the name of next season, let's just say we may have some hints as to what happened in the Season 4 trailer based off two main characters dying in the newly released Fortnite x Marvel Zero War pages. Honestly this video is absolutely crazy today so if there's one you stick around until the end of make sure it's this one as you also just witnessed a mirror get smashed which means 7 years bad luck if you don't. I wouldn't risk it. However, very quickly before we dive into it all, one favour I ask of you guys considering it takes 2 seconds and is 100% free to do is enter my creator code FM13 digits inside the Fortnite item shop. You guys already know this not only puts a giant smile on my face but cheers up my pug Gus too who's been kinda sad about the fact he knows that 70% of all eyes watching right now are not subscribed. With that said, hit the big red button right now as we're on our final push to 2.5 million or 2.5 million subscribers and after all it only benefits you as I do give different subscribers every single day, which of course soon is going to be hundreds of Chapter 3 Season 4 Battle Passes. So if you ever want to receive something, simply make sure you subscribe to the channel with all notifications turned on and then comment your Epic Games ID down below and let me know what you'd like to receive so perhaps you could be gifted like this on screen in front of hundreds of thousands of eyes to see in the next video. But with that said, now enough messing around, let's dive into an early look at Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 4 so make sure of course you don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Not, I'm sitting on my don't go anywhere. Very quickly before we dive into all the juicy intel, I need to tell you guys about Yahaha -ha, who are kindly sponsoring today's video. I have been spending all my free time on this considering I love Fortnite creative and yeah, basically what Yahaha is, is a brand new UGC or user generated content creation platform for 3D multiplayer interactive experience. This allows anybody using Yahaha to basically create and publish their own unique virtual experiences. Typically things like this are really complicated, however Yahaha couldn't be simpler with us not needing any coding experience previously, not to mention you don't need any server knowledge too to simply use the components and smart assets in Yahaha studio to make your dream games. What's even further fun to aid your creative experience is the library of built-in 3D assets, literally millions of them that are stored in the cloud drive so they can be real-time streamed to the local client when you need to use them. And once your creation is done, you can use the one-click publish tool to basically publish it to the Yahaha cross-platform app for mobile and PC where other players can discover your work and join to play. What are you waiting for? Now or before you leave today's video, download Yahaha at the top of the video description down below or in the pinned comment and create or play in your own virtual world world of choice today. So firstly and most importantly today I'd say is putting the rumours to bed regarding the ending of this season or when the start of the next one will be. I've mentioned this in other videos but if we take a look at the battle pass currently it says that this season ends on September 17th which is true but with this immediately going into downtime straight after with no live event occurring as confirmed with the release of the 21.51 recent updates, with the release of a new season being a bigger downtime update than usual meaning it requires more time for around 12 or 18 hours this then means that chapter 3 season 4 releases on the 18th of September 2022 with no delays. With the sad recent passing of Queen Elizabeth II, of course many people speculated as the funeral has been confirmed to be on the 19th of September, now it would be delayed this season but that simply isn't the case. With that said and the release date not being shifted for Chapter 3 Season 4, nicely moving on to our second point, of course Fortnite have confirmed this in another way if it wasn't already obvious it would be released on the 18th instead of the 17th when downtime commences. Around nearly 48 hours ago from the time I'm recording now, Fortnite accidentally started revealing or leaking some very strange teasers obviously pointing towards that Chrome would be consuming everything and then as you can see Firemonkey stated in this tweet it was found that there were scheduled tweets to state the following which Fortnite then did tweet out about after data miners found that they were scheduled. I'll play those teasers real quick in their raw form too so you guys can form your own opinion before we move on. Hey y'all, Malibu Amy here and I just got the best ever of course organic moisturizing serum supply drop. Check this out. here with my best organic pesticide for your fruit. Bugs, be gone. And despite those releasing over on TikTok, of course, Fortnite then at the same time of releasing the tweets that were scheduled initially that were found by data miners, basically changed something on one of their websites to state Fortnite Paradise and then 18 9 2022. This of course puts the rumours to bed in regards to the next season release and as they have two forms now, the battle pass stating it ends the 17th season 3 and then on the official website with this sound playing in the background right now... <laughs> 
And with the theme of next season nicely moving on to our third point, obviously having large emphasis on Chrome consuming everything as we've seen from Fortnite's tweets. With that now confirming that this wasn't just random goo that the paradigm was sinking into and yes it was determined that this is the new suit paradigm's hand actually trying to reach out as if she's been swallowed. With people obviously comparing it to this episode of Spongebob where everything is turning into Chrome. All jokes aside this pretty much confirms that the new version of the paradigm that we saw in the Collision Live event obviously voiced by Brie Larson will be releasing next season potentially with a mask off style. And with Brie Larson playing Captain Marvel in the MCU itself with us already having a Captain Marvel skin with this head many data miners have simply concluded that they'll put this head right here where the mask of the paradigm is meant to be for her mask off style. And who knows maybe she reveals that like The Rock did in this epic cutscene against Doctor Sloan but this wasn't for a trailer leading into a new season rather so as part of the end event cinematic but you guys get the gist it'll pretty much be the same thing. This on top of the fact that insiders have already confirmed that Gwen Stacy Spider Gwen version will not only be in the Battle Pass for Season 4 but we don't know out of the 10 page system which skin exactly it will be. Whether it's just on one of the 10 pages, the final page, the first page or the coming soon section skin kind of like how we have Indiana Jones this season and then Prowler in Season 2. Speaking of the Battle Pass in and of itself of course moving on to the next point it will simply be the 10 page system that we've previously seen. Many data miners have came out confirming it basically but honestly I'd rather Epic Games go back to what they initially transitioned to with the innovation of the Battle Pass in Chapter 2 Season 2. In my opinion this was the best Battle Pass tab of all time or Battle Pass scenery as it had not only easter eggs that we could interact with throughout the weeks of the Deadpool challenges which were obviously very fun and he had a secret lair within this scenery itself but speaking of different lairs of course the ones tied to the storyline specifically Midas this not only showed the development of the Doomsday device in lead up to the device or the Doomsday event in and of itself but also had a timer displayed on his table we've only seen three of these sceneries but let me know what you think down below in the comments for chapter 2 season 2 season 3 and then season 4 being the Marvel season which was the last one we ever saw personally I think they could create a scenery and then have us click or interact with something to lead to these 10 pages but I guess we'll have to wait and see honestly I highly doubt they'll do that because it's just that much extra work for those that haven't been seen about another battle pass skin which is confirmed to be upcoming for season 4 this one off the Fortnite surveys you know this goth version of Meowsles which looks a lot skinnier than the buff one in chapter 2 season 2 of course our only look at it until now anyways has been the surveys but my thumbnail designer managed to put a 3D model together in the final days now of what it pretty much will look like once it comes to the game and obviously this is a lobby concept showcasing not only the confirmed Gwen Stacy or Spider Gwen skin but also Goth Meowsles in an entirely now chrome consumed lobby or scenery. And before we move on to even more issue 5 spoilers regarding Fortnite x Marvel Zero War, once Jonesy and the Foundation actually encounter him after jumping into the Zero Point after him that we saw in the Collision events, don't forget about these if you haven't already heard about them, some issue 5 spoilers Hypex stated, the two that fell into the Zero Point in season 2 that we briefly saw you know in this moment right here were Jenna and the Imagine. Supposedly we'll not only see how Dr. Sloan exactly dies after being smacked by the giant mech robot and what happens after that but also Jones and the Foundation returning by season 3. Again for those that don't know what this means of course we saw this cinematic of them jumping into the dimension of Jenna trying to chase him and then we're back on the island in the season 3 chapter 3 trailer. Of course for those that haven't seen the first drawing or reveal to the Hulkbusters or new mechs that are going to be implemented as a vehicle in chapter 3 season 4 which has not only kind of been confirmed by the fact that the Hulkbusters have a similar stature size and structure to the mechs but also the mechs have been updated so much this season. And then finally of course last but not least two main characters will die which we actually know about now that we're going to be revealing thanks to new issue 5 spoilers again releasing on the 28th of September 2022. With that said moving on to a rather interesting point Hypex tweeted out the following today storyline spoilers and disappointment ahead Jenna and Imagine die in issue 5. Here is the page he's referring to so I'll read out all the text on it. Initially Jenna states if there were anything that could be done for my daughter I would have done it. I'm afraid the best I could do was slow it down for the both of us meaning they're both about to die. Jones states what's happening to them the foundation responds what happens to anyone who touches the uncontrolled zero point they're discorporating at the molecular level being scattered throughout the omniverse don't let your guard down Jenna's still dangerous. Jenna then responds you can't accept it can you that you've won. Well in the narrow sense you've all defined it you spoiled my plans which incidentally were to protect and perfect every reality in the omniverse but there's no point arguing who the hero is now. Finally as Jenna and the Imagine start disappearing he states you always believe my methods were abhorrent that you knew a better way congratulations now you get to prove it I genuinely hope you were right because if you fail this means the end of everything. Honestly this kind of reminds me again of the voice tapes leading up to the first end event of chapter 1 where basically it goes on about everything ending in the reality of Fortnite. My amazing response to this was why have they killed him off meaning Jenna before he even comes to the game itself. Many people are responding by saying hopefully 
say Zero War isn't canon. That, to be honest, only makes sense to be true considering Jenna, for those that don't know, is on the concept art surveys for skins that are currently being worked on but not released in game in two different forms that Hypex already showed. So to kill him off, being such a big character anticipated at the head of the imagined order or even the founder or leader entirely of it, before he comes to the game, I just can't wrap my head around that entirely, to be honest. Fingers crossed, guys, this means that we see Jenna involved in the Season 4 cinematic trailer because don't forget, this actually happens the Season 4 cinematic trailer on the 18th when we initially see it for the first time before the release of the final issue of Fortnite X Marvel Zero War, again, which happens on the 28th, which means not only then can we get the free reward for the first time for issue 5. Last but not least for today's video, however, for our final point, these are a recap of everything that was basically leaked for Season 4 upcoming in terms of gameplay. As you can see, Hypex states some gameplay stuff that got leaked past two seasons, probably for Season 4. We've got Motorcycles First Person 50v50 Zero Build, the Storm King LTM returning for Fortnite Nightmares, Iron Man Gloves, Mech V2, Updated Planes, Halloween Goo Boss, Sand Tunneling Updated to Blob Tunneling, Squad Heal Items, Super Storm Items, and Saddles. We're going to be covering that tweet and the proof of all of those features being leaked in another video, so of course, if you enjoyed today, slap a like on this one, but make sure you subscribe to the channel with all notifications turned on so that you don't miss that video. However, speaking of other videos right now, make sure to interact with anything on screen I don't mind, because most importantly, hopefully I can catch you in that very next video I do post on the channel.